I'm gonna become the world's best liar. Sounds easy, right? Well, not exactly. You see, a polygraph lie detector machine is said to be 80 to 90% effective. So the question is, can it be beat? Is it possible to actually train my body and my mind to fool the machine, or is this test simply unconquerable? Well, I've made it my mission to find out. After all, the test is only 90% effective, and that leaves 10% room for error. So I'd say the odds are pretty much in my favor. And why would I do this? You might be asking yourselves. Well, the thing is, I'm actually a terrible liar. Just ask my wife. But Am I a good liar? No, you're not at all. You flare your nose every time you lie. I can't help it. It's my nose. But I'm not doing this so that I can lie to my wife. I'm not a terrible person. I'm doing this so that I can lie to, well, other people. I am taller than you. I'm taller than you. It turns out lying is incredibly useful. Like if I want to win Among Us. <laughs> I'M NOT THE IMPOSTER! If I ever have to be in one of those Vanity Fair videos. Because I really want to be in a Vanity Fair video. And if I ever need to tell like one of those small and, you know, super unharmful lies. Isaiah, did you eat the cookie dough? No. Isaiah, your nose is flaring. You ate it. In order to get better at lying, I first have to see how bad I currently am. So, I visited John, who has been doing these tests since the 1980s. Your upper breathing, lower breathing, sweat and blood as you answer yes or no questions. It only goes big if you lie or if you move. Breathing should microscopically look like shark teeth. Some people, when they lie, their breathing gets paralyzed and goes flat. So, you can tell pretty quickly if someone's telling a lie. I will know if you're lying or not. You have to pass this test to become a cop or an FBI. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is serious stuff. Is your name Isaiah? No. It's a lie. Have you always wanted to be a YouTuber? Yes. That's a lie. Oh my gosh. You're clearly not a very good liar. We're gonna change that, John. I will be back, and I will become the world's best liar. I will beat this test. Is it beatable? No. I'm gonna beat it. And according to Professor Grubin, there is no question that you can actually beat a polygraph test, but you really need some training to do it. And apparently, I can find all the information I need to know on the internet. So, I have a three-step plan to becoming the ultimate liar. The first step was finding ways to control my sweat levels, which might prove to be difficult for me, as I'm a man who needs to change my shirt, well, at, at least five times a day. I found out online that using deodorant would significantly reduce my sweaty palms. Step two. Increase my blood pressure by using a tack to inflict pain on my body. So essentially, the tack goes in the shoe and I step on the tack in order to inflict pain so that when I answer the lies, it looks the same on the meter. I think. And in order to make sure that the tack works, I need to also lower my caffeine intake. So for the next week, I'm gonna be ordering decaf, which I recently learned means decaffeinated. Step three, control my heart rate and breathing. In order to control my heart rate, I found Douglas Williams, who administered polygraph exams for the Oklahoma City Police Department from 1972 to 1979. And let's just say that his information, well, it was mind-blowing. Anybody can pass any lie detector test by simply duplicating the physiological response to fear on demand at the appropriate time. This is exactly what I needed to hear. Douglas said that the polygraph tests can't tell the difference between a truth and a lie. There is no such thing as a lying reaction. It records nervousness. So what is the trick that's going to control my heart rate and ultimately fool the test? You have to show no reaction whatsoever on the relevant questions, and you have to show a reaction on the control questions, because what they do is they compare your reaction. That means it needs to look like I'm lying when I'm not, and telling the truth when I'm not. Now how do you do this? <laughs> so utterly simple. On all the relevant questions, you think about laying on the beach and watching the waves gently rolling into the shore. On the control questions, you think about falling off of a building and smashing your guts out on the sidewalk below. And after that sobering thought, I found out that biting your tongue can increase your heart rate. That hurt and create an artificial spike on the polygraph test. And while I was getting better at lying, I found out that more and more companies have access to my personal information. You see, I've discovered 236 companies that are tracking me just by using my email. Now, I'm kinda paranoid. Lucky for me, it doesn't take a polygraph test to find this out. Mine keeps my mind at rest and allows me to exercise my right to be forgotten. And that sounds 
pretty dang good, doesn't it? But it's not just me that needs to keep my information secure online. It's also important for you too. Privacy online is essential. Even when I delete an app from my phone, that company can still keep my data, which is why my digital footprint is so large. This company I've never even heard of and they're holding my financial data. Same mind makes it incredibly easy to reclaim what's yours online, just like I'm reclaiming my dominance over the rock. So hit the link in my description. Meanwhile, I was continuing to take control of my heart rate in order to become the world's best liar. After a week of preparation, I grabbed my favorite backpack and was finally ready to face John and see if all my training has paid off. And I was bringing him a little gift. This is, this is for you. Cool. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. That's right, Zoa. As John was hooking me up to the machine, I was imagining myself on a beach with my toes in the sand in an attempt to bring my heart rate down. Unlike the first time I sat in this chair, I was strangely feeling confident. My training must have really worked. I am ready to lie. John, give me your worst. All right, I need you to answer yes or no with your mouth only, no head or body movements, same volume and strength on all answers. Is your name Isaiah? No. That's true. I'm actually doing it. I can't believe this, I'm, I'm doing it. What is your name? Jimmy Donaldson. That's true. Is your last name really Photo? Yes. True. Just think of the beach. Think of the beach. Control your breathing, Isaiah. What is your wife's name? It's Dave. True. It, it's working. Do you love your dog, Makwa? No, I hate that dog. That's true. I am so sorry, Makwa. How tall are you? I'm six foot two. True. Are you insecure about your height? Nah, short people suck. True. Did you buy your subscribers? Yes. True. Do you fake your YouTube Absolutely. videos? Absolutely. True. Do you secretly like the taste really of the oil? I do. Is the strongest True. Substance do you believe that elves exist? Definitely. True. Did you actually lick a jawbreaker to completion? You walked in here True. with a backpack. Is it actually yours? Do you think you will pass the rock in subscribers? No. True. The computer has scored you as 100% truthful. You have passed this test. How much faith do you have in this test, John? I've done it for 35 years. I see it work every day. You believe in it? 100%. And just like that, I became the world's best liar. But not for the reasons that you think. I'm actually the world's best liar because I've been lying to you this entire video. Heck, I didn't even rehearse for this test at all. I have lied about absolutely everything. The backpack isn't even mine. I stole it off a man on my way here. The gift I brought was actually a bribe. The machine wasn't even plugged in. Deodorant doesn't stop your hands from sweating. In fact, it makes your hands sweat more. I guess I just really like the smell of Axe body spray. I wasn't imagining myself on a beach. I was taking a nap. You see, all this lying made me really tired. So tired that the intro of this video wasn't even shot in my office. I was using a green screen because I needed to fuel myself with more coffee than ever this week. My caffeine levels were off the charts. And yeah, it may not have been obvious to you that I was lying, but this sign behind John couldn't have been more obvious. In order to become the world's best liar, I didn't need to fool a machine. I needed to fool you.